Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Tech World. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe for more interesting videos. Uh, today I am going to show you how to install Node.js Angular CLI in PM2 on Linux. As you know, Node.js and Angular CLI, uh, we should have these packages on your system to run Node applications and Angular applications. Traditionally, PM2 is a process manager to run these application in background or if you want to do any load balancing between those node applications and angular application we can install pm2 this is very very important on production system so today i'm going to show you how to install this complete stack so before going to short uh, before going to start our lab today we should have one running linux instance you can have ubuntu centos and red hat no problem i'm showing uh, Today's lab on Ubuntu. You can take any uh, operating system, Linux operating system. And these are the steps involved in the today's lab. So first, before going to install Node.js in our Linux, we had we should install NVM. So first step is install NVM, Node version manager. Node version manager is nothing but a, to install Node.js packages, Node.js uh, application. We should install NVM. So we can install Node.js in many ways, but NVM using NVM is a uh, better way. First, we have to install NVM. Next, we have to install Node.js using that NVM. Next, install NPM. So, if you want to install any Node kind of packages like Angular and PM2, so these are all Node kind of packages. So, in order to install those Node related packages, you should have NPM install first. So, next, install that Angular CLI using NPM. As I said, Angular is a Node package. That's why you should install Angular CLI using NPM. Next, install PM2. PM2 is a process manager for Node application, Angular application. So we should install this PM2 using NPM because NPM2 also Node related package. That's why we should install this PM2 also. Uh, this PM2 also using NPM. So let's get started. First, uh, login into your Linux machine. So this is my AWS console. I'm using uh, AWS EC2 Linux machine. Ubuntu. I'm using Ubuntu. As I said, I'm using Ubuntu here. You can install any, you can use any Linux. You can follow my commands and uh, this lab today on any Linux, not a problem. Uh, just uh, take this IP and uh, open putty, paste here. Uh, browse the key. So as I said, this is my uh, AWS EC2 Linux. That's why I should browse the key. login into the machine go to the root, uh, root account so this is my ubuntu linux machine you can check here postname ctl so this is my ubuntu 20 latest uh, version first we have to install nvm so these are the commands uh, to install all these packages first we have to install nvm so first we have to install curl so to install curl copy use this command copy and paste so it's saying zero upgraded and zero newly installed means i have already curl installed in my system next we have to install nvm using this command so this command will fetch the nvm package and install copy the command and paste here and click on enter so nvm has installed if you get this kind of uh, output that means nvm has installed next we have to next we have to enable the nvm after installation of nvm we have to enable the nvm to enable the nvm just close and reopen the terminal just close and reopen the terminal so this is my term I'm just closing. Okay. And again connecting to my terminal. I'm taking again my IP. I'm going to put T and paste here and uh, 
browse the key again just close and uh, reconnect your line expansion to enable the nvm that's it so um, log into something wrong like uh, so this is my running instance copy the public ip go to putty and browse the key i think i, I have given wrong username here like that's why we got that error go to root account so this is again i'm uh, logging into my linux mission in order to enable nvm so to check nvm installed or not you can use nvm ifn ifn version it will give you install address. so so nvm has installed successfully next we have to install node.js using this nvm so before that we have to check what are the versions uh, nvm has so accordingly we can install required version of node.js so for that type nvm ls hyphen remote it will give you available version in nvm so see all these versions are available in nvm this is the most and most advantage of nvm it will give you all the from last see from starting to latest all the versions it will give you this is the uh, best advantage of uh, nvm so you can use any version easily can delete any version easily it can install any old version also but by using remaining process so we can't do that but, but by using nvm only, only we can install required node.js version so if you want to install node.js version you can mention any version see all these versions you can mention uh, you can install any required version uh, to our to install required version so test type nvm install and type your required version here 14 i'm i'm going with 14 point 15 point something like anything you want you can type here <laughs> not a problem so uh, type to install node.js uh, just type nvm install version <coughs> that's it it will install the required version so what it's saying something like uh, version not found i think i have given wrong version uh 14 point 14.15.4 any version i think i just given wrong version that's why it's saying like the 14.4.14 i think not available that's why it's saying like that so now i've just given uh, proper version so it's going to install node.js so to check node.js is installed or not just type node hyphen c so in our system in our line of node.js is installed so 14.15.4 mentioned version installed successfully node.js 14.15.4 successfully installed on linux next we have to install npm in order to install any node kind of packages we should have as i said we should have npm so we install npm but first we have to check uh, whether npm uh, installed or not just by default npm will be installed along with node.js so once you installed if you see uh, you can check npm installed or not by this command npm space hyphen v so here i got this uh, npm version means i have already installed npm in my system why because so along with node once you install node.js automatically npm will be installed in order to install again okay so npm also install next we have to install angular using this npm so to install angular this using using this npm just type this command npm hyphen install hyphen g hyphen f just clearing the screen npm install hyphen g hyphen f at the red angular slash cli so this command will install latest version of the angular so if you want to install the particular version of the angular you just add that version here at the rate 10 0 dot 0 something like that so what is the version you require to install we can uh, mention that version at end of the this command but i don't want that uh, i just uh, okay with latest version so type that command like this and install 
angular click on enter it will install the latest version of the angular <laughs> so angular has installed but i got a uh, few something like node permission this is the uh, common error you can ignore this one no problem so to check uh, which version of angular has installed to check uh, our system has install uh, has our system has angular or not just type angular so by this you can check see here you can see angular cli 11.0.6 has been installed in your system so to check which version of the angular has installed in your system you can use this command ng hyphen hyphen version next we have to install pm2 so pm2 also node package then we can so we can use npm npm again so we can install this pm2 using this npm to install uh, uh, pm2 just type npm install ifng pm2 it will install the pm2 just click on enter so pm2 has been successfully installed to check uh, pm2 is installed or not type pm2 hyphen hyphen version so it will give you installed version see pm2 pm2 installed and it is showing uh, console so this is the process of installing node.js angular pm2 stack so we can use you can use this my today's commands and everything on production system also not a problem it's a tested process uh, if you like the video please like and share the video and then don't forget to subscribe Thank you guys, thank you for watching.